In this video, we are going to look at how to construct a square, a rhombus, a rectangle, and a parallelogram. We are also going to look at the similarities between a square and a rhombus, and a rectangle with a parallelogram. With my first question, we want to construct the square ABDC, where the line segment AB is equal to 8 cm. Now we know a square has 4 equal sides, all the interior angles are equal to 90 degrees, and also a square has two pairs of parallel sides. So first we'll construct our line segment AB being equal to 8 cm. So first I'll draw a light line that's more than 8 cm long. Then I'll place the compass point at the zero on the ruler and open the compass out to 8 cm. Then I'm going to place the compass point at any point on the line and make an arc. Then I'm going to place the compass point where the arc cuts the line and I'm going to make another arc. And that will give us our line segment AB. Now at this point, we can construct 90 degree angles at point A and also at point B. Or, we can just construct one 90 degree angle at point A or B, and then use the concept of parallel lines to construct the rest of the square. So I will choose to just construct one 90 degree angle at point A, and then use the concept of parallel lines. Now that I've constructed my 90 degree angle at point A, I'm going to place my compass point back on the zero on the ruler, and I'm going to open my compass out to 8 centimeters. And that's because all four sides of the square would be 8 centimeters long. So now I'll place my compass point back at A, and I'm going to make an arc to cut this line. And that's because we want the distance from point A to the point where the arc intersects the line to be 8 centimeters long. And I'll call that point C. Now, knowing the other side of the square that will come on top here will be parallel to AB, and that the other side that will come here will be parallel to AC, I'll take my compass point and place it at point C, then I'll make an arc like this, then I'll place my compass point at point B and make an arc to intersect that other arc. And where those two arcs intersect, I'll call that point point D. So now it's just to take a ruler and connect point C to D and then D to B. So there you have it, your square ABDC. So now your last step would be to darken your final outline. And now the construction of our square is complete. So here we have my second question where we want to construct the rhombus ABDC, where the line segment AB is equal to 8 centimeters, and my angle ABC is equal to 60 degrees. So this means that this 60 degree angle will be located at point B, which is the letter in the middle. So first I'll take my ruler and draw a light line that's more than 8 centimeters long. Then I'll place the compass point at the zero on the ruler and open my compass out to 8 centimeters. And I'm going to construct the line segment AB, which is 8 centimeters long. So next, I'm going to construct the 60 degree angle at point B. So now that I've constructed my 60 degree angle, I know the length of this side would be 8 centimeters long because a rhombus like a square has four equal sides. So I'm going to place my compass point on the ruler and open it back out to 8 centimeters. And I'm going to place the compass point back at B and make an arc to intersect the line. And I'm going to call that point where the arc intersects the line point D. And now the side that has to come here, which will be DC, will be parallel to AB. And the side that has to come here, which will be AC, will be parallel to BD. I'm going to take the compass point, which is still open out to 8 centimeters place it at point D, and we're going to make an arc like this, and then we're going to place the compass point at A and make an arc like this. And where those two arcs meet will be called point C. So now I'll take my ruler and connect points D to C and C to A. So there you have it, your rhombus ABDC. So the last step would be to darken the final outline. Now that I have a square of side 8 centimeters and also a rhombus of side 8 centimeters side by side, you can see the similarities and differences between these two shapes. So both a square and a rhombus has four equal sides. But a square, the interior angles are all 90 degree angles, while the interior angles of a rhombus are not. So a rhombus is like a square, just tilted. A point to note is that the angle at C would be equal to the angle at B, and the angle at D would be equal to the angle at A. 
So in my third question, we're going to construct a rectangle ABDC, where we have the line segment AB being equal to 8 centimeters, and the line segment AC being equal to 4 centimeters. So our rectangle has two pairs of parallel sides, and those parallel sides are equal in length. Also, the interior angles of a rectangle are equal to 90 degrees. So first I'll start by drawing my line segment AB being equal to 8 centimeters. Hmm. Now just like the square, I'll construct my 90 degree angle at A, and I'll use the concept of parallel lines to construct the rest of the rectangle. Now seeing that my line segment AC is equal to 4 centimeters, I know from point A to point C would be 4 centimeters. So I'll place the compass point at a zero on the ruler and open my compass out to 4 centimeters. Then I'm going to place my compass point at point A and make an arc. And where this arc intersects the line will be called point C. Now seeing that I already have my compass open out to 4 centimeters, I'll place my compass point at B and make an arc. And that's because I know this line segment AC will be parallel to the line segment BD and that AC and BD would be equal in length. So now to get the line segment C to D, I know that CD would be parallel to AB and that CD would be equal in length to AB. And the line segment AB is 8 centimeters. So I'll open my compass back out to 8 centimeters. And I'll place my compass point at point C and make an arc like this. And where these two arcs intersect will be called point D. So now it's just to take a ruler and connect point C to D and D to B. And now my last step would be to darken my final outline. And there you have it, rectangle ABDC. So in my last question, we are going to construct parallelogram ABDC, where we have the line segment AB being equal to 8 centimeters, we have the angle at B being equal to 60 degrees, and line segment B to D would be 4 centimeters. So first I'll construct my line segment AB being equal to 8 centimeters. So now that I have my line segment AB, I'll construct my angle ABD being equal to 60 degrees at point B, because B is the letter in the middle. So now that I have my 60 degree angle, we'll construct the line segment BD being equal to 4 centimeters. So I know that D is somewhere along this line and it's 4 centimeters away from point B. So I'll place my compass point at the zero on the ruler and open my compass out to 4 centimeters. Then I'm going to place my compass point at point B and make an arc to intersect the 60 degree line. And this point where the arc intersects the line would be point D. Now seeing that I already have my compass open out to 4 centimeters, I know that the side A to C would be 4 centimeters and will also be parallel to the side BD. So I'll take my compass point, place it at point A and make an arc. Now knowing that the side from D to C would be parallel to the side AB and also be 8 centimeters long, I would open my compass back out to 8 centimeters. And I'm gonna place my compass point at point D and make an arc like this. And where these two arcs intersect will be called point C. So now it's just to take a ruler and connect points D to C and C to A. And now my last step would be to darken my final outline. So here you have a rectangle and a parallelogram side by side so you can compare them. So essentially a parallelogram is just like a rectangle. The only difference is that the parallelogram is tilted while the interior angles of a rectangle are 90 degrees. And that's it for this video.